How are you? I'm a little distracted. You are? Yeah, no, just kidding. How are you? I'm good. Have you ever been to Seattle? No. How come? Because it's far, it's too far from my, where I live. I live in New York. Oh. But and it's you're, gorgeous. you can, if it would be nice if you'd get out and push it a little closer. If you really, if I've you tried. Really cared. I've, I don't uh, care that much. No, I don't go. I, I avoid airplanes and traveling. I don't like traveling. I don't like leaving my apartment. So I live in New York and don't ever see other cities unless I have to work in them. And like I, right now. Right. And then I'm forced to go. You're forced to go. Mm -hmm. See, I, I figured you're the kind that hate, you hate people. Not very hate social. People? Mm -hmm. Well, I hate a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, I can name them all right now for you. If you okay. Like. Um, no, I won't. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't go out much, and I don't travel. I don't like traveling. Um, I don't like traveling internationally. I don't like. You're not being. Um, you're you're serious. Yeah. Oh. I've never liked traveling. My whole family hates traveling. Every all of them live in New Jersey, and all of them live within like a mile of where they're, they're like. I think that's true of tarantulas as well. Uh, it's like that. they don't ever roam a mile from where they were spawned or whatever. So you're telling me you're never going to visit Seattle? No, I'm comparing my family to tarantulas is what I'm doing. <laughs> but yes, I'm telling you, unless I have to work there. If you want to offer me a job, I'll go to Seattle. But I, I won't go to be like, oh, yeah, there's the sphere of dome. You know. <laughs> Great. Have you ever tried stand-up? No. Why not? I get tired. Hmm? I get tired. So you're witty but lazy. I think that's a perfect description of me. I'm witty but lazy. Oh, no. Lazy. Okay. I think just lazy. Just lazy. Just fine, yeah. Okay. That'll do it. So, how did you get in acting? How, 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 does that fall, uh, how did that fall in your life? You're accomplished? I read your whole accomplished. bio. Yeah, but it just depends on what you've accomplished, really. I certainly have accomplished some things. Um, I, 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 uh, I never know what to tell young actors because I started really young. I was about 11 when I started doing it at the community theater in my town. My old actor. Yeah, I worked backstage at first, and then I sort of fell in love with the, the theater. And then someone saw me in a play and wanted me to audition for another play in New York. Because, when, you know, when you're like 13, uh, there, there, there ain't much competition. I mean, for commercials, there are, and for movies. But if you, if you want to do theater, if you go to like an audition for a, <clears throat> you know, an A.R. Gurney play at the Perry Street Theater, there aren't a lot of other 13-year-olds in the waiting room. Like right. it's, it's usually, it was like me... Cynthia Nixon and, oh, uh, yeah. and you know, Christopher Calais. That was it. So uh, I got a lot of parts, and I, would do, I did a lot of plays off-Broadway. And then Matthew Broderick was leaving Brighton Beach Memoirs, which is a Neil Simon play on Broadway, and I auditioned to replace him, and I got that, and I was 16. Oh. So I was on Broadway at 16, and then I did a couple dumb movies, and then for some reason Peter Weir cast me in Dead Poets Society when I was 19. Mm -hmm. And uh, my career changed a little bit. And then Good, Good Bull Hunting came your way, didn't it? You were in that. Were you in that? No, no. Why did I think God. you were in that too? I don't enjoy that movie. Do you? Not at all. Yes. Oh, you have to, so you have don't you ever have to shriek at me? <laughs> uh, I, I, is it a popular film? I guess it is. Uh, you know, something like that. I think the kid, a couple. The of kids love it. The kids are drinking, drinking, eating it up. I think a couple people saw it. Yeah. Um, um, I don't care. What about it. comedies? What are you interested in starting in comedies? No, I don't want to do anything in front of a camera again. I'm done. Uh, I'm yeah. tired. I want to do plays, uh, and I want to uh, read. That's it? Mm -hmm. Done with Hollywood? Well, I never actually came across it. But um, I, I enjoy the show that I'm doing right now. But to, yeah. be, to be honest, like getting up at 5 in the morning uh, and sitting in a makeup chair in the dark, I, I, I mean, it's not that it's hard. Believe me, it's not hard. It's just that it's, it, it gets, it, it's, it's not as fun as doing a, a play and, and being yeah. home. And I, I like being home, and I like doing theater. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more. So, so I'm, but uh, I love what I'm doing now. So, you dry sense of humor. You like to make people laugh. What makes you laugh? I can't think of anything. Nothing makes you laugh. There are a few lines from Young Frankenstein that always make me laugh. Uh, I was thinking earlier that Randy Newman songs made me laugh. Um, I can't remember the last. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't. I, I mean, my f my favorite comedy movies. Uh, Cary Grant makes me laugh. He was extremely funny in Philadelphia Story. Would you say he's one of your favorite actors? Oh yeah. Well, Cary Grant wasn't really an actor. He was a movie star. But I. But he yeah. was definitely uh, very good at his job. I, I. I miss Cary Grant, as I'm sure. I'm sure I'm alone in that. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what were you asking me? I don't remember. I'm thinking about tarantulas. I don't know why. Uh, me too. <laughs> clearly. 
I don't know what makes me laugh. Do people recognize you when you walk down the street? Well, I was just thinking about this and talking about it earlier. People don't unless I'm wearing a suit. <clears throat> I think it has to do with the show. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, um, it's like Bradley Whitford. You, he wears a suit and you go, hey, there's Josh Lyman. And he doesn't wear a suit and you look and you think, who's that, you know, Jlub? Uh, that's, how I, that's how my life is. Like, I, cause I, I have a t-shirt and jeans every day and no one ever recognizes me. And if I'm wearing a suit, if I have to go somewhere and I'm walking in New York, people think I'm Wilson. They say, oh, hey, when's the new show coming on? But if I'm dressed as me, I think people go, oh, that guy looks a little like the guy who plays Wilson, but he's clearly not him. Do you like being famous? Being recognized? Uh, it depends on what they say, I guess. What uh, is that? Well, I mean, if someone says, like, hey, uh, I love the show. I uh -huh. say, that's great. Uh, if they say, hey, I loved you in, you know, that Shaw play you did at the Roundabout in 1993, you think, you're, you're sick <laughs> because you clearly don't have enough interests and don't leave your house enough. Um, but it's always nice to hear people like your work. Always, always, always. Um, the who are you thing isn't fun. No. Just so people know. When you say, like, I, are you, who are you? That's... <laughs> That gets tricky, because then you start, you fail. You say things like, well, I was in Dead Post, and they go, no, I didn't see that. <laughs> and you go, oh, oh, boy. Um, and then you start listing your credits, and, you're, and then suddenly it's time for pajamas. You're like, well, that was a fun day, uh, listing my, you know, my, my resume for someone on 47th Street and 8th Avenue. I got a wrap. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. My most fun interview today. Oh, isn't that nice? And I do nothing to sell the show.